If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling and arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me. That's the arm that killed a hundred whales. Care to lose another ten shillings? I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that.
I'm ready to farm. I'm ready to fall. I've had enough. You're too strong. Come back later, when you can use your arms again. <laughs> I'm ready to try again.
You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money.
Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. We'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well. At least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Old Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? We've heard rumours about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar, and violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant, and not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year. Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she had foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night, two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. But those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. Back in a second. Are you off to the Kazi? I'll be here with my drink.
Here it is. Have you got any tobacco? We've run out of mine. Nah, I lost my pouch. I don't know where. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, is this your tobacco pouch? Well, um... Oh, it is! Well, I have to go now. I know a captain who's planning an expedition to Cape Cod. Captain Ahab's his name. He commanded the Pequod. He might need good harpooners. I'll tell him about you. Maybe. If you like, I. I'm done here. It's time to leave.